Hello, I'm Helen Turner from Innovative Safety Solutions. I'm here on behalf of safeworkers.co.uk to talk to you about control of hazardous substances, or COSH as it's otherwise known. Within our workplaces, there are many hazardous substances, not all that are neatly contained in containers and bottles that are nicely labelled. We also have to remember gases and health hazards such as dusts and asbestos, etc. But we're just going to look at the standard hazard markings. If you see any of these markings on a product, then it's a note to you to ensure that the correct control is needed and that they are stored and used as per the manufacturer's guidelines and further to your own risk assessment. This hazard, this hazard label depicts an environmental hazard. It's pretty easy to understand, dead fish and a dead tree. This one is explosive. The skull and crossbones is a very familiar one and it means toxic. This one depicts corrosion, so it shows that the product that the label is on is actually a corrosive product. Then again, this one's a very familiar one, and it means harmful or irritants. The next one again, very familiar to us all, and it means either flammable or highly flammable. And this last one means oxidising, it's an oxidising product. We just look a little bit more in depth at the health related effects of, of certain products. So if we think about something that's very toxic, so it depicts the skull and crossbones warning marker, it means that even extremely low quantities that get into the system will cause death. Toxic means just that low quantities rather than extremely low, but still low quantities will cause death. Harmful, again substances that may cause death. Corrosive, is substances that can destroy living tissue. Irritant, substances that may cause inflammation of the skin, so it may just be a rash. Sensitizing, substance that, that are capable of causing hypersensitization. Mutagenic, may induce genetic defects or increase their incidence. Carcinogenic, may induce cancer or again increase its incidence. Highly flammable, substances with a very low flash point before ignition. Flammable substances with a low flash point rather than very low. Explosive substances that under the correct conditions will explode. Oxidizing substances which give rise to an exothermic reaction.